Well, thank you so much, and good morning, Osage City. I tell you, this is great when we can come out and celebrate a project that is completed ahead of schedule and under budget. That's the way we like it. Uh, let me congratulate uh, Dave Nichols and the, the team from Missouri DOT and Donna Cush from the Union Pacific, Derek James from Amtrak, and uh, from the construction firm OCCC, no, OCCI, Ted Kettlewell. So uh, on behalf of uh, President Obama and Secretary Fox, it's truly an honor to be here this morning. And um, in the coming decades, our national transportation system will need to move an additional 100 million Americans and 4 billion more tons of freight each year. And this will put a tremendous strain on our already uh, strained transportation systems that are stretched to their limits. And so our economic success is really going to depend largely on how well we respond to this transportation challenge. And it's going to require us to continue taking steps forward, just as Missouri has today, to prepare the nation's rail system to play a much larger role in moving both people and goods. And so the introduction of the new Osage River Bridge over this railroad, or on this railroad over the river, is a great example. We now have double track running the entire stretch from Jefferson City to St. Louis, and delays caused by rail traffic funneling into a single track over the old bridge are now a thing of the past. And for the 60 daily freight trains and four passenger trains, the improvements made here are mutually beneficial. The result is safer, more reliable, and more efficient service, and an increase in capacity throughout the system. Meanwhile, the record numbers of people riding the River Runner got a faster, more convenient connection between St. Louis and Kansas City and to connecting cities throughout the Midwest. And in Missouri, we've already seen examples of how rail improvements can trigger spikes in ridership. In 2008, the River Runner's on-time performance was down to 64 percent. But after investments were made in a passing siding west of Jefferson City, the number shot up to 90% on time the next year, and ridership responded by soaring. The River Runner has now set six straight annual ridership records, with uh, ridership up more than 30% since 2009. And so this railroad bridge is one more improvement that will allow for a higher level of performance while also laying a foundation to invest in faster, more frequent, and more reliable service. It also advances the Midwest Regional Rail Initiative, a vision that the state of Missouri shares with eight other states to connect the Midwest's 40 largest cities with higher performing passenger rail. And so it's time to commit to this higher performing rail system that our country uh, needs and our travelers deserve. We have to provide rail with a predictable and reliable federal funding stream and put it on par with other transportation modes empowering the public and private sector to partner and make investments like this bridge we're looking at today. And so to everybody that's planned for, supported, and built this bridge, thank you for your leadership. You exemplify the power of strong public-private partnerships and what we can achieve if we can continue to invest in higher-performing passenger rail. Thank you, everyone. 